Don't touch that dial. Watch this exciting scene from today's four-part story of Underdog. Here it comes now. When Polly's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. I knew it would work. Here he comes. <laughs> Underdog will fix you. He's the bravest, strongest, most wonderful hero in the whole universe. <laughs> Your admiration is touching, my dear. But when my machine gets through... He won't be brave or strong or wonderful. He'll be nothing but a pretty paper valentine in my hall of fame. <laughs> if you're a good girl, I might give you to him as a souvenir. <laughs> Save the world, and once again, the mighty hero could assume his secret identity as humble, lovable shoeshine. Little did he know that soon, as Valentine's Day approached, Simon Bar Sinister would strike again with an even more fiendish invention. Simon says, you will be my Valentine. I don't know any Simon. It must be Simon Bar Sinister, that foul fiend. You will be my valentine? What does it mean? It bodes no good. And now, here with all the latest news is your Ace TV reporter, Sweet Polly Purebred. Almost anywhere you look, you can see a sign which reads, Simon says, you will be my valentine. No one would want to be Simon Bar Sinister's valentine. Ugh. Yet city officials are worried, knowing that it must all be part of some diabolical plot of Simon's to take over our fair city. As of now, there is no cause for alarm, but everything... <laughs> With my new machine, I'm going to take over the city. You mean you're really going to make everybody a valentine? I am. With my latest and most diabolically clever invention. The Valentine Vault. Look here. Watch it, too. <laughs> it turns people into valentines. How does it work? Anything that gets inside can be turned into a valentine. And observe. Simon says, be my valentine. Or will it work on people? Step inside. I will demonstrate. Not me, boss. Well, and go out and tell the boys to bring us back a few... <laughs> a few funny valentines. Eh? Here they are, boss. We got you a nice cross-section. A banker, a salesman, a cabbie, a hat check girl, a school teacher. Good. Now you are all going to help us in a little experiment. Oh, no, you can't. Well, can't do this to me. Silence. Now, if you'll all just step into my private office here. Simon says, be my valentine. Oh, of course, I'll have everyone under my control. Speaking of under, what about you know who? Underdog? <laughs> Underdog is going to be one of my very first and very fanciest Valentine. But how are you going to get him into the Valentine vault? I'm going to bait it with Underdog's favorite Valentine. Now, Simon says, let's get Sweet Polly. Will Simon capture Sweet Polly purebred ace TV reporter? Will the heroic underdog fall for this fiendish plot? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. Unknown to Sweet Polly purebred, Simon Bar Sinister was out to capture her and make her a victim of his fiendish Valentine machine. And so, dear viewers, Valentine's Day is here, and the city still wonders what Simon Bar Sinister meant by "You will be my Valentine." Perhaps we shall never know. Ah! Grab her, boys! <laughs> now I have Sweet Polly, and Underdog will soon hear about it and come to save her. But at that.
that moment, the mighty underdog was disguised as humble, lovable shoe shine. Shine, sir? Out of my way, you. Oh, help me! Help me! Help me! Save me, shoe shine! Take care of him, boys. Unwilling to expose his true identity, the mighty hero was forced to take a tremendous beating. <laughs> Sweet Polly, we can hardly wait for him to follow you. I dared not expose my true identity, but now with Simon and his men out of the way, I shall hurry to a nearby telephone booth, change to underdog, and save Sweet Polly from the sinister bar sinister. So I said to him, I said, Herman, you just wait and see. Soon I must save Sweet Polly, but right is right and fair is fair. These people were in line first, and I must wait my turn to use the telephone booth. And as humble, lovable shoeshine waited anxiously to change to underdog... Keep calling, sweet Polly. You're leading Underdog right into our trap. <laughs> Set your traps, villain. But there is no trap that the heroic Underdog cannot overcome. No? Well, look at this, my dear. Earlier today, these were happy, healthy people. But now they are... Valentines! Precisely, my dear. They simply entered here, thinking it was the inner door to my office. And then, Simon says, be my valentine. You see, my valentine? And soon Underdog will arrive to save you. And he will be my valentine. You, you thief! Save sweet Polly. Over the phone. It's only two pages long. Now, first. Good work, Cad. Now handcuff her to the post. <laughs> There's the trap, and you are the bait. And soon, soon, Underdog will be my Valentine. Underdog! Will the mighty Underdog fall into Simon's trap and become his Valentine? There's a thrilling time ahead in our next exciting episode. You'll see all of this underdog adventure complete on today's show. And in weeks to come, you'll be seeing exciting scenes like this. You're 
admiration is touching, my dear. But when my machine gets through, he won't be brave or strong or wonderful. He'll be nothing but a pretty paper valentine in my Hall of Fame. <laughs> if you're a good girl, I might give you to him as a souvenir. <laughs> you fiend! You'll never get away with this! Simon says be quiet! Here it comes, boss. Good. You know what to do. Let's go. There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. <laughs> Polly in chains, then quick as a wink, I'll use my strength to break the link. <coughs> oh, underdog, the vault, the vault. <sighs> it must be part of Simon's plot. I'll look inside to see what's what. <coughs> You did it! After all these years, you finally got underdog. You don't look so tough now, do you, hero? Take that, and that, and that! <laughs> Old lacy pants. Shall I tear him up, boys? No, no. I'm going to hang him on the wall and use him for a dartboard. <laughs> that is, when we get back. Where are we going? Call in the boys. We're going to take the vault down to City Hall and make the mayor my valentine. Okay, you guys. Pick up the vault and put it in the wagon. We're going to City Hall. What about her? <laughs> Handcuff her again. There. When she comes to, she can look at her favorite valentine. <laughs> now for City Hall. <laughs> What an ignominious end for a hero of heroes. Who now will champion the underdogs of the world? Is there any hope at all? The answer lies ahead in our next exciting episode. The once powerful underdog was now only Simon Bar Sinister's valentine. And Simon was on his way to give the mayor and the city officials the same kind of treatment. The situation looked desperate. compartment of my ring I fill with an underdog super energy pill. You're alive! You're flat, but you're all right. Your ring. And the pill. But it's so flat, underdog. Oh, I hope it works. <laughs> to the officials at City Hall before Simon makes Valentine's of them all. If only we aren't too late already.
can we thank you? You've saved the city. Yes, the hero of heroes had done it again. The champion of underdogs everywhere had saved the city from Simon Bar Sinister. And so, once more, people could look up and say, Look, it's a plane. It's a bird. It's a fool. A frog. <laughs> nor bird, nor even frog. It's just little old me. Un un <laughs> Underdog. Now, as our hero of heroes goes about his everyday good deeds, we're glad to know that in today's story, somehow, Underdog came through again. But what about next week? Here's a scene from next week's show. Mm -hmm. Loony sandwiches, peanut butter and jam, pickles, hard-boiled eggs. Surprise! Surprise! Sweet Polly! I stowed away. I intend to cover this story as a reporter. Then the thing to do is look around and see what strange things can be found. And strange things could be found. For even as Underdog and Polly unpacked the equipment, they were being watched by two strange creatures. The Magnet Men. Look, Magog, Earthmen. Mm, do you suppose they bought any food?